one of Doug Ford's favorite things in the world over 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 his 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 time in office was the introduction of dollar beers and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken cool beer hopped on that train now I'm not going to get political but dollar beers pretty damn good sadly these these, these weren't a dollar at the moment cuz I'm pretty sure it's only on holidays that they're a dollar but hey still a good price let's do this Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski from the Rushi Rushi Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by the by Cool Beer down in Etobicoke, uh, Canada. You know, Toronto, on, Etobicoke, Ontario. There we go. Places and stuff and things. We have Cool Beer Blonde Lager. They did a little bit of a redesign on the cans. On the cans, it's not that dark, royally blue looking stuff and thing. It's more of a white can, and I thought it was a totally different beer. I never did cool uh, before. I can't believe I haven't. But I, I, I saw this, I'm like, oh, blonde lager, that sounds kind of cool. Let's try it. Haha, <laughs> cool. Get it? Cool beer? Cool. Moving forward. I didn't know it was the same thing. But shit, it's whatever. It came in a four pack, and I'm really happy about that. So. What, what's this about? It's a blonde lager. It's 5% ABV. No listed IBUs. I do not see. Um, and as for... Yeah, IBUs? No IBUs. No IBUs listed. 5%. Very straightforward. Blonde lager. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I like these cans. I like these cans. for like the Red Bull-esque size cans. I mean, it's still 355, but... I, I, I like it better than, than the short regular pop cans. Uh, co collective Arts, CCs, CCs for days. Let's pour it up and see what we got. Pour about most of the beer in there. Looking at it, looks like a solid lager. Nice golden yellow, clear white head on top. Very very straightforward. Looking like what is that on my foot? Nothing. Uh, looking like a solid lager. Let's have a smell. On the nose, bready, crackery. Light, light caramel, a little bit of graininess going on. Smells pretty straightforward. Smells absolutely refreshing though. Let's just dive in. That goes down like absolutely nothing. Um, it is, it's, it's, it's light, it's refreshing, it's crisp, it's clean. There's not a lot going on here. You know it's a beer, but it, it doesn't give you a lot of the real like lagery flavors per se. A um, little bready, a little bit more crackery, a little bit of cucumber, just refreshingness, not sweet, not cucumber sweetness, but just refreshing and lightness to it. Um, it's it's not that intense. It's it's in between like a regular lager versus a light lager, sort of right in the middle on the flavor intensity sort of things, which. Usually I can get upset at, but because it is so goddamn crisp and refreshing, I can't really fault it for that. It just, it's satisfying. That's exactly what it is. It's not gonna rock your socks. It's not gonna give you like some enlightenment journey of beer. It's just crisp, refreshing, clean, and done very simply yet elegantly. No frills, no BS, just solid good beer. I didn't even cheers to you guys. I like it that much. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. Goes down like water. You could be crushing these all day. Wouldn't even know the difference. Um, it, it's that, That's exactly what it is. Cool, uh, clean, fresh, crispy, refreshing, simple, and just damn damn good. Also, this is going a little fast because I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm going to a bar, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, patio seating only. Well, not really. What am I saying? Let's, we're focusing on the beer. I'm getting off track. Very low flavors, but just enough there to satisfy you and just absolutely refreshing. Let's see what the can has to say. Cool beer. Blonde lager, a little bit of a reflective can here. It's a little hard to read on camera, I want to say, but it does look very pretty. Brewed with pride since 1997, award-winning and 100% natural. Also, with it being very refreshing and, and very crispy, it gets you bloated and makes you burp a lot. 
Uh, no description on here other than that really short and sweet one, which is totally fine. Premium beer for any occasion. Ingredients, water, malted barley, maltose, hops, and yeast. Packaged on... does not say. Does not say on the can. I don't remember if it said it. I don't think it said it on the plastic wrap either, so no canned on date that I see. Which is kind of a bummer, but it is super refreshing and it is a fresh beer that I have right now. Over on the website, coolbeer.com, you do have a, have a description and it says, A golden award winning North American blonde lager brewed to quench a thirst. Damn straight. Using only 100% all natural ingredients with no additives or preservatives, cool lager is aged for 21 days and cold filtered, making it well balanced, crisp, and refreshing for any occasion. Available in 341 ml bottles, 355 ml slim cans, that's the design I like, and either a 58.6 liter or 20 liter keg. So you can get the big kegs, you can get the small kegs, you can get it in cans and bottles. Uh, available year round North American Blonde Lager, 120 calories, 0 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbohydrates, and 1 gram of proteins in the bottles. So if you're uh, calorie conscious, you're pretty much set with this one. Very short and sweet, but the website does look pretty damn good. Over on Untapped, Cool Beer has only gotten a 2.7 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 1,200 ratings, just a little over that. Seems a little low for me. I mean, it's not terrible. Obviously, the flavors are pretty mellow, but it's it's refreshing, and it just satisfies you. And I think that's the, that's the main point of why I like this beer, is that it's just... Damn, it quenches your thirst beautifully. And it's not too light in the flavor department. And it's not too heavy in the flavor department either. It's just it's just a refreshing beer. I'd take this over a bottle of water any day. Over at the LCBO, you can pick up a four pack of 355 ml slim cans for six bucks flat. Six dollars flat plus I guess your 40 cent deposit. <clears throat> very easy and attainable. The one thing I did note too is that in a four pack of that a four pack of bottles which is about 13 milliliters uh, less per, per per serving is also six dollars. So you gotta think do I want to carry around four heavier bottles and have the potential of them breaking? Or do I just want to get the cans for a little bit more beer and no worries if this drops on your buddy's head or if you drop it on a concrete ground? You know which one makes more sense. Overall, a solid beer, absolutely refreshing, goes down like nothing. Flavor is a little too mellowed out, but at the same time, the refreshingness of it really helps it just give it that better, a bit more of like a oomph, a wow factor in a sense. Uh, per se, but damn, this is just this is just good beer. Cheers, everybody, in the final sip. Let's get ready to train and wrap this thing up. Cool beer, blonde lager, very straightforward, crisp, refreshing, um, satisfying, um, clean. It is it is a damn good beer. It's not crazy flavorful by any means, but it's 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 refreshing is definitely where it's where it's winning. Uh, so that's why cool beer gets a solid 7-2 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I do love the can design on it, looking pretty damn stylish if I do say so myself. Not a ton of information, just very short and sweet description. Ingredients are listed. Oh, I lied, there is a brood on date. Um F2220. There it is there. So that's June 22nd, 2020. I lied. That's a nice little bonus right there. Boom, boom. More marks there. Website looks great. Gives you a nice longer description. Availability and some nutrition facts with it. Can't go wrong there. Overall presentation gets a solid, gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beer to review in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. We're not going to pour the last bit up. I'm just going to have a sip. Cheers.